So this piece is a COVID piece. Um, deep in, I think it was like April of 2020, I was in contact with a group of re researchers in the Okavango Delta in Botswana. And I'd been planning on going and doing an expedition and research there, but COVID shut everything down. And um, so this is one of the species that is in their nature preserves there. And it kind of kickstarted like a whole new wave for me, like coming back to the arts. I've been in science for so long, but my background is in the arts of my family. And this project really opened my eyes to all the incredible work that is being done across the world in conservation and using art as a way to talk about it and bridge the gap between science and the public. So uh, I embarked on this painting and as I was like learning about the animals in this delta that they've helped preserve and protect, I discovered that they have you know, found, I think like almost 200 species new to science. And so now um, this kind of like kickstarted a whole project in my actual thesis where I am documenting all these new species and bringing them out of scientific journals which are super inaccessible and um, using painting as a form of storytelling to get people excited about conservation and switch the paradigm from like, you know, doom and gloom and species extinction to that of celebration and positivity. So this this kind of did it all and kind of saved my, uh, my um, I don't know, like the early stages of COVID, it was such a scary time and, and this baby was really what kept me going and kept me excited to explore the world even if I was stuck in in my studio I was able to like experience Africa and some of the really cool things happening there from home so I got this little teeny tiny photo from Africa of this beautiful yellow snake and I had to use kind of my creative judgment to turn that teeny low-res picture into a painting. And so I created this piece in celebration of this new animal. And a lot of my references um, are like high Renaissance art where you're elevating animals that wouldn't necessarily be seen this way to a place of reverence and inspiration. So I've been keeping sketchbooks for 20 plus years. And it's kind of a way to have conversations with the places I've been to around the world. I love found materials, um, avid environmentalist. And so finding ways to add bits of found material um, into my art is like a big part of my process. But um, yeah, it's, it's, I love going through these sketchbooks and seeing the place that my head was and brain was at that time because it's neat to see how you've evolved and changed as a person. Um, here's another found material one, just like an old flyer, one of the Ibex. And uh, yeah, animals you'll see are like a, a through way for a lot of my work. I really love kind of bringing representation of the natural world and these creatures that don't have voices. This is a critically endangered African wild dog and using art as a way to, to talk about them and celebrate them.